So for those of you who haven't figured it out yet, uh, I'm an engineer. Um, as such, I do energy engineering, and recently I performed a site inspection at a campus university. It's Weber State here in Utah. Uh, and they installed LED lighting in their stadium. From what I understand, this is really rare. Uh, I took some video footage of how it looks, and I thought you might enjoy it. I asked permission from the facilities manager if I could put this on YouTube, and he said yes. Uh, I just want to add one disclaimer. If you have questions on their lighting, don't contact me through YouTube. I'm not the guy to contact. Um, who you need to contact is the facilities manager over this project at Weber State. His name is Jacob Kane. He's given me permission to put his name out there and also his project. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask him, but I hope you enjoy the video of what they have done to their gym through the installation of LED lighting. It really is amazing and I think he's broken some really good ground. Go ahead. Alright, so I'm going to cut off the inner ring here. I got these are all good energy. Those are emergency lights. Okay. Those are down at 20% right now, so I can bring them up to full. So that's emergency light in there. Okay. On a circuit, bring those down. And then the outer ring is broken into four quadrants. So it's kind of neat. So I can light the cord in different ways. The inner ring is broken into half. You had to put that on a PLC and program it to music. We could. We actually, the, the, the scoreboard has the controls built into it to, that we can do that. But, um, and then, if we want to, we've got the up lights. So, and then we have eight scene switches, so I can, you know, I can go, you know, here's all on. That's good. That's way good. Um, but for game lighting, because all on, we end up with a little, we're a little too bright. So game lighting, it so actually, game. that's game lighting. It just dimmed the inner circle, got dimmed down about third, about half. Okay, so you dim the inner circle for games. For games, it's too bright. Too bright. We have too <laughs> much right. light. Cause, and even right now, NCAA says you want 125 foot candles for national championship. Regional games is 80 to 100 foot yeah. candles. We're about 200 under the baskets and about 300 in the middle, right there. It's it's a lot it's of light. It's really bright. It's a lot of light. So. Huh. And then load wise, we went. I mean, you, you from the report, you can see we were about 140 kilowatts on the old lighting. We're down to about 45, 50, something like that. I don't know, 80 times what 560 watts or whatever they are. So whatever that comes out to be. <laughs> that's neat because that's all you have is the centering lights and it does the whole thing. Oh, and you can you can see from just the up lights that's kind of an like I said, it's an interesting one to look at just the up lights. It's kind of an interesting. That puts about 10, 10 to twelve foot candles across the entire room, pretty evenly. How many seats is this stadium? A little over eleven thousand. Eleven thousand seats. So. Cool.